Ozempic, Wegovy and Monjaro are the weight loss injectable medications that have taken the world by storm. In this video, I'm going to answer the burning question, which one of them actually delivers the best results for weight loss? To provide a brief background, Ozempic, Wegovy and Monjaro belong to a class of medications known as the GLP-1 agonists. This means they mimic a hormone in our body known as the glucagon-like peptide 1 hormone. And what this hormone does is that it stimulates the pancreas to produce another hormone known as insulin, which helps to lower blood sugar levels. These medications were initially used to treat diabetes, a condition of high blood sugar, but it was found that these medications significantly reduce your appetite, and now they are used to assist people with weight loss. So before we dive into the numbers, one important thing to understand is what the active ingredient is of these medications. So Ozempic and Wegovy actually have the same active ingredient, semaglutide, Ozempic just has lower dosage forms, so it comes in 0.5 to 2 milligram dosages, while Wegovy only comes in one dosage form, it comes in 2.4 milligrams of semaglutide. Monjaro has the active ingredient tazapatide. Tazapatide actually mimics two hormones, the first of which is GLP-1, which is the same as Ozempic and Wegovy. The second hormone is known as glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, or GIP. Both GLP-1 and GIP are incretin hormones. These are hormones that are secreted when you eat food and they stimulate the release of insulin. Tazapatide is the first GLP-1 agonist that has this dual action. So now I'm going to go through some exact numbers. This will allow us to objectively compare the exact amount of weight loss we would expect for each medication and help us determine which one is actually the most effective for weight loss. So let's start with the Zempic. I've got three studies here. The first study went for 30 weeks and they took 388 patients with diabetes. As you can see, Ozempic with a 0.5 milligram dose, patients after 30 weeks lost on average 4.23% of their body weight, while with the one milligram Ozempic, average amount of weight loss was 4.85% after 30 weeks. The second trial looked at Ozempic over 56 weeks for 1,231 patients with diabetes. And this was in combination with the medications metformin and or thiazolidinediones. These are both diabetic medications. As you can see from this study, the Ozempic 0.5 milligram after the 56 weeks, on average, the median weight loss was 4.67%. And with the one milligram dose after 56 weeks, the average weight loss was 6.17%. Now the third study of Ozempic that investigated the two milligram dose. This study went on for 40 weeks and enrolled 961 patients with diabetes and use Ozempic in combination with metformin and or sulfonylureas. These are both diabetic medications. And as you can see from the results, for the one milligram dose, after 40 weeks, the average weight loss was 5.68%. And for the two milligram dose, the average weight loss was 6.4%. Just a couple of small points on Ozempic. All of the studies were done in diabetic patients. So in all the studies I could find for Ozempic, they were all done in diabetic populations. This may affect the external validity of the results, meaning that it may not be able to generalize these results to the general population that does not have diabetes. The second thing to note in these studies is that in the two milligram study, some of the patients use sulfonylureas. This diabetic medication actually causes weight gain in patients, and therefore this may have negatively impact on the amount of weight loss patients had in this study. So now I'm gonna move on to the next medication, which is Wegovy which is the same drug, semaglutide, but in 2.4 milligram dosage. So I've got two studies here. The first study was the result of 68 weeks of 1,961 adults, either with a BMI more than 30 or a BMI more than 27 and one rate-related medical condition. And this study used Wegovy in conjunction with a calorie-reduced diet and increased exercise. As you can see from the results, the average weight loss after 68 weeks was 14.9%. Now, another study investigated Wegovy over 104 weeks, and this was a trial of 304 adults, same population and same recommendation of reduced calorie diet and increased exercise for all patients. What you can find is that after the 104 weeks, the average weight loss was 15.2%. So this was the interesting finding with Wegovy, as the weight loss after 68 weeks was actually very similar to 104 weeks. This finding is probably better illustrated on these graphs. As you can see, as you start taking Wegovy, you get pretty consistent weight loss all the way up to about one year. And after one year, you reach this sort of plateau where you don't lose any more weight, but you don't really gain many more weight. 
and this is the graph of the 104 week study for about two years. As you can see, you rapid weight loss again up to about 52 weeks. And at about 52 weeks or one year, the weight remains about the same. It goes up and down a little bit, but remains about the same for the next year. So let's move on to the last medication, which is Monjaro or Dizapatide. I have a few studies here. The first study is a 72 week trial that enrolled 2,539 patients with a BMI of more than 30 or a BMI of more than 27 and having a comorbid weight related medical condition. This study used Monjaro in conjunction with a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity. This is uh, the same as the population and the intervention as the Wegovi studies. As you can see from the results, after 72 weeks, for the 5 milligram dose of Monjaro, the average weight loss was 15%. For the 10 milligram Monjaro, the average weight loss was 19.5%. And for the Monjaro 15 milligrams, the average weight loss was 20.1% after 72 weeks. The next two studies I have on Monjaro are in diabetic populations, and they were not used in conjunction with reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity. The first study went on for 40 weeks and enrolled 478 adults with diabetes. As you can see from the results, after 40 weeks, for the Monjaro 5 mg dose, the average weight loss was 7%. For the 10 mg dose, the average weight loss was 7.8%. And for the 15 mg dose, the average weight loss was 9.5%. The last study on Monjaro actually compared Monjaro to Ozempic, which was the only study I could find that actually compared two of the injectables. This study went on for 40 weeks and enrolled 1,879 patients with diabetes and used Monjaro or Ozempic in combination with metformin, which is a diabetic medication. As you can see from the results, after 40 weeks, the average weight loss for the 5 mg Monjaro was 7.8%. For the 10 mg Monjaro, it was 10.3%. And for the 15 mg Monjaro, it was 12.4%. The Ozempic 1mg only had a weight loss of 6.2% after the 40 weeks. Another interesting finding with Monjaro was similar to the Wegovi, where you see this leveling out of the weight loss after about one year. As you can see from the graph, with Monjaro, you get pretty rapid weight loss all the way up to about the one year mark. And you start seeing this leveling out. Now you can't see if this continues because the study doesn't go long enough, but it does have a similar trend to what we saw with the Wegovi when it went on for over 100 weeks. The other thing you can notice from this graph is that the weight loss for the 10 milligram dose is very similar to the 15 milligram dose. This suggests there's diminishing return on weight loss as you increase the dose above 10 milligrams. So which injectable is the most effective for weight loss? Well, if you look at the numbers, it appears that Monjaro is the most effective for weight loss. Going through it as a summary, Ozempic had a peak weight loss of about 6%, Wegovi had a peak weight loss of about 15%, and Monjaro had a peak weight loss of about 20%. Now, Zepping may have been slightly disadvantaged because all of their studies were only done in diabetic populations, and there was no study that combined Zepping with diet and exercise like Wegovi and Monjaro. However, there was a direct comparison between Monjaro and Zepping in one study, and Monjaro did show quite superior weight loss, which does suggest that Monjaro is more effective for weight loss than Zepping. Now, we cannot definitively say that Monjaro is more effective than Wegovi for weight loss, even though they were done in similar populations with similar interventions, there was actually no direct head-to-hand comparisons that I could find at the time of recording this video. And therefore, there may be differences in the populations that we did not account for that accounted for the differences in weight loss results. Overall though, if you just want a one-line statement, if all the side effects were the same for all the medications, then Monjaro would appear to be the most effective out of the three injectables for weight loss. So I hope you found this video helpful on your weight loss journey. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. If you've used these injectables before and you'd like to know how to keep the weight loss off if you're coming off it, check out this video here and I'll see you in the next video.